Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I must have missed something. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit, Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Better look for 
any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. This makes no sense, Max. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him, right? So what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten.
There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? <laughs> Party supplies, no doubt. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Yep, another car David was tracking. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. 
Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Not much out there. This is like goddamn math. I suck. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the it looks like this isn't the right combination. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Open, God damn it, open!
Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, no. Look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Chloe would make a great detective too. Boring, boring. So many haystacks, so few needles. Ah. The good old days. Damn, lots of info here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Please be careful up there, Max.
Tell me if you need any help. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. strikes again. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. <laughs> <laughs> 